I think we're live. Check it out, everybody. Hello, everyone who is here. Roberta and Susan were in here early. Marcy, P. Shadwick, PJB Stamper, Laura, Marcy, Roberta. I'm, now I'm just reading names. <laughs> hey, Mick. Linda. I'm so glad you made it, everybody. Connecticut. We've got people here from Washington State. We've got people here from Washington, D.C., from Illinois, Georgia. Hello, Beth. Hello, Melissa. Oh, y'all are fantastic. Thanks, Beth. What a sweet thing to say. Alberta, Canada. Hello, Mary. Hi, James. Hey, Deanna. So big props to my husband. I'm telling you, for the past two weeks, I get in here, I think I'm ready to go, and then... I'm not because something needs to be updated and the mouse stops working and it's usually like five or ten minutes before I'm supposed to go live and Jim set me up. He had me all squared away. We needed an update. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to see my face. So Jim got me set up. So hi, Mary. Uh, how is everybody today? I'm so excited to see you guys. Yay! I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, and as you saw, we are going to be messing or playing with the Spellbinders Club. Now these were from July. They are still available. Um, the benefit, I guess, of doing them monthly, like getting part of the ki uh, the club, is that you can get them for cheaper. But I think they usually have them for sale afterwards. It's Tristan. Hello, Tristan. How are you? Ah, Linda. <laughs> yeah, James squared me away. Yes, um, but yeah, so the benefit to um, doing it is that I guess you can get them for a little bit cheaper. One of y'all was sweet enough, kind enough to send these to me so that I could play with them because you guys know I like mini slimline. And that is what I think the whole um, thing was, was mini slimline. So yes, I am doing, and you're doing well. Good, good, Marcy. Doing great, great, Deanna, awesome. Yes, don't forget to hit that smash. Or smash that like button. Oh my gosh. Yay! Yay! Okay, vibing. <laughs> Good, Tristan. All right, so this, the big die set, it can not only make a sl mini slimline, but it also will make an envelope. Now, there's something interesting about this mini slimline. It is not the typical size of mini slimline that I typically make. When I make a mini slimline, they are usually, I use a six by six piece of paper, fold in half, so it's three by six inches. Well, the biggest die in here, or at least um, for the card itself, because this part is for the envelope. These parts are for the envelope. The biggest die is six and a quarter inches by three and a quarter. So you'd have to cut a six and a half inch by six and a quarter inch piece of cardstock for this to fit normally. Or use your six by six base if you want to and just stick this on top. So. You have the July die, yay! All right, Marcy, wonderful. Um, yeah, I am in love with mini slimline, and I think I've told you all before, I don't have it linked down below, but what I typically like to do for my mini slimline is I will buy these, this is uh, the thick white 12 by 12 double by Basil. So, and I have only found it at scrapbook.com. Somebody told me you can get it at Joann's. I haven't gone to look. But I like to get this because you can cut this down and get four mini slim lines out of one. Now, if you were doing it to make this six and a, or six and a quarter by three and a quarter or six and a half, I get one well, though, I guess it's six and a half by six and a quarter open, um, then that wouldn't work. But you know, you get the gist. So, <laughs> hi Denise, how are you? Okay, so I do want to show you that I went ahead and just had fun and made a card. And um, this our first one, I cut the paper wrong. I cut it six and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then I ended up having to, it, which is not a big deal, but you'll have a little bit of hang over on the top. And this is what I made with it. I went ahead and cut everything out. So this die will give you this one. It gives you the little, little dotted edge. Then you go down the line and you get scallops. Then you get the dots again, scallops, dots, scallops, and then these two together will cut out happy birthday. Now, if you just try to cut out the happy birthday by itself without this rectangular piece, it's not going to cut out and be 
like this piece that you see here. So you could cut it out of the middle of a card and it's just going to be there, but you'd need this if you wanted the panel itself. A, is it a Swego, Karen? Yes. You've seen this size, huh, Deanna? Now, I, I haven't, but then again, maybe I'm not looking in the right places. That could very well be the case. Oswego, New York. Karen, very cool. Welcome, welcome. Um, but so that's the first card that I made. I just went ahead and made one just because I was playing around. But, and I love this. This also has some cute little flowers to go with it. We're going to be making the envelope, so I'll show you how to do that. And then we're also going to make a mini slimline using this die. So let's jump into that. And then we'll get into our stamping. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And I went ahead and just to save some time because I did notice because these are so intricate, they do take some time to get the parts like cleaned out. So let's talk about each of the pieces and what they'll do. This first piece is going to cut exactly what you see here. So during craft roulette, oh, fun. Um, so that's going to cut out this piece right here. Then this next piece, in order to get this, you have to combine this piece along with this piece because this does not have a cut edge around it. So I put these two together to get this beautiful piece, which is just beautiful, obviously. So then we'll stick that on top of here so you can kind of get a look. Then, in order to get this next piece, not only do you need these two pieces, but you need this piece, because once again, this does not have an edge that is going to cut out. So they, they layer up together, and then that's going to give you this beautifully intricate piece. And if you layer that on top, keeping in mind that you don't have to do that, you could absolutely... She does use that size, Deanna. I haven't seen... These, design, uh, these dies are by Spellbinders, Roberta. Hi, Documomeries. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute name. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, these are by Spellbinders. I do have them linked down below if you want to go check that out. All right, and then you have these last two pieces, which can be separate. So now you've got your base of whatever it is you're, you're, you know, you're making, which again, you could do these pieces, you know, any of these on their own. It's just in order to get them, you'd have to pair these pieces up the way I had described. So in order to get this piece, I used this one, and I love how intricate that is. That's fun with all those little dots. And then in order to get the 4U cut out, you would have to combine the two together. So that's how I got that one. And then it layers up nicely on top of there for that cream color to show through. And so then there you have the whole card together. But I already die cut these just to save a little time. Like I said, dies like this are so cool, but they do require a little bit of um, patience because you're going to get little pieces everywhere, <laughs> which I don't mind, but... Um, yeah, it just took a little time. So let's go ahead, I have a card base, and let's see. Yeah, I cut this one down. Actually, I didn't even cut it correctly again. But we're just gonna go with it. How did I cut this? I cut this to be six and a quarter by six and a quarter, that's why. I think that's why. All right, well, we'll just deal with it. But let's start putting those pieces together. I just think it's neat how they, they um, all go together the way that they do. And then you're going to want to avoid the dots, I guess, but I'm going to try and just be, not go real heavy handed with my glue, so that way I can just go over the top of it and not worry so much about it going between the dots. And you probably don't need a lot. But I'd pick that over a tape runner because the tape runner will stick to those pieces. So we'll line that up. And don't worry, we will do, we'll be doing some stamping. Deanna, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. The super chat always helps me out. It really, really does. 
it's interesting how the numbers have been playing out. I think the algorithms are off. So this is what, you know, I definitely appreciate you guys hitting that like button because it does let other crafters know that I'm out here doing stuff. You get Chinese lantern vibes. Yeah, I can absolutely see that. So big thank you, Deanna. I appreciate that. Hi, Sue. Um, but yeah, so the algorithms have been a little bit interesting lately. And I'm, and also I hope that means that people are out enjoying their lives. Maybe they're back to work, hopefully. You know? I've toyed around with the idea of getting a job myself. Probably won't, but... Because that would make less time for crafting. Anyway. All right, and I'm not gonna go crazy putting glue everywhere on that one, but we're gonna stick this one down on top as well. And then it's just neat to see how all those colors kind of play through here. And I didn't line it up perfect, but oh well, right. Tennessee, Donna, is that where you're from? <laughs> That's funny, okay. So as you can see that it's kind of layering up beautifully. You got that nice pink coming through. All right, I'll go ahead and put these on top of each other. And then So today my daughter and I had an opportunity to go to Hobby Lobby and look at flowers because they had them on sale. She is thinking she doesn't want uh, fresh flowers, so we're gonna start working on her bridal bouquet. For those of you that don't know, my daughter is getting married this winter, so we are very excited. Working really does get in the way of my crafting. Yes, need, to, yeah, well, that might be my issue too, Marcy, absolutely. PJV. Oh, goodness. You know what's funny about that is I was very fearful of, you know, that I would drive my husband nuts or that he might drive me nuts. You know, and during COVID, he had to be at home. Um, and <laughs> actually, we found we really like each other. <laughs> there are plenty of places begging. That is absolutely true, Robert. And that's why I thought about it, too. Yes, Chinese lantern style. A job really, it does interfere, Deanna. It absolutely does. You are totally fine, Alana. Yes, I know. It's super exciting, Linda. We've, you know, and I actually don't like that card front with that. Hmm. I definitely think I need to trim it down. Maybe what I'll do, because I don't like it. I don't like it. Huh. Um, let me measure, because I think I'm going to cut it at here, because I just don't like that. So we're going to do five and three quarters. We'll cut this down. While it's even closed, we'll just cut her down to five and three quarters, and then I'll probably just have to use my scissors to snip the rest. So, yeah, it's going to have some edging and I'll just kind of cut around that. But otherwise, I don't like that. That's just me, though. You're right, Natalie, absolutely. It either made him stronger or it didn't. You are 100%. It's some of those make or breaks, I guess. But you know, it's also a stressful time, too. So it made me think, I don't want him to go back to work. <laughs> Why can't we just be independently wealthy? <laughs> Not the case though, not the case. All right, I could cut out a new card front, but I think I'm just going with this. Are you creating the invitations? I absolutely am. I cannot wait till we actually get started on that. Um, oh, and I shouldn't have put it all the way at the top. She is going with more of a um, like Christmas theme, obviously, well, not Christmas, but like Christmas colors, so. All right, so I'll just cut that down like that. Cutting right along those edges. And I can't wait to make the invitations. I'm so excited. Okay, so that worked just fine. Check it out. 
And you could add some embellishments to that. That'd be kind of fun. But now let's go ahead and make an envelope with it. Let's do that. So now we've got, I mean, I didn't make this one on screen, but we've got a couple of cards. And then I do have the pieces for, yeah, yes, Roberta, I thought about that too. You absolutely could. That's a very good idea to take the outer die and cut the base top and bottom to match the shape. I like that idea. Yeah, I probably should have just cut out another base. Corner rounder would work too, Natalie. Good call. Yep. Yep, Cairo, you had the same idea as Roberta, it sounds like. <laughs> James has a nervous tick. <laughs> yes, and it looks like Deanna had the same idea as well. Y'all are on it. Y'all are on it. Pauline, you're in here too? See, I keep missing things. I look down and I miss it. Um, thank you, Mary. Yes, there's so much inspiration. I'm telling you, when we were at Hobby Lobby, it was so much fun looking for flowers and different things. Because we're also going to be making the boutonnieres and the, um, the bridesmaids bouquets and, you know, just trying to do all the, the rest of it. Okay, so these are the pieces that come from, let's move this die out of the way. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, and bring back our mini slimline die. So you'd need one of these pieces. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. So one of these, and I wanted to show you, look at that paper. Ooh, I love this. I just love the specialty cardstock and the specialty paper from Tonic. This one is the duck egg, and I'm gonna say it wrong. Is it toil, tool? Someone will know. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to tell me there, I guess, but. Thank you, Natalie, isn't it gorgeous? Ugh. It's the luxury embossed card. And I love to get this stuff when it's like on sale, which Black Friday, Christmas time, I'm thinking it's all gonna probably go back on sale again, so. You got, and you got to painting and zoned out. <laughs> You're fine. Hi, Crystal. Westminster, Colorado. Thank you, Cairo. Yeah, the dye is amazing. And I do love this paper. So you need one of these. I'll put that back. You'll need two of these, okay? So I have, or throw them around. Two of these, and then you're gonna need two of these. So I've got those all set and ready. Uh, yeah, cut those out. And now, yeah, <laughs> I, I know Beth, that is the problem. And I do have to sleep at some point, but my husband reminds me that, you know, yeah, he's not requiring it, but. Anyway, okay, so one of the things I noticed about this is that it has a double embossed line on it when it does cut those out, and that happens on this piece and on this piece. And my thought with that is you might need to um, have the double embossed either if you're, you have a really thick card, or I don't know, maybe you wanna make a mini box, I guess. But um, So that is nice that you have options with this die. You should buy, yes. I know, Roberta, we have been, we bought a bunch of stuff today and got all the, um, most of the flowers. I think we're not going to need to go back for too much more. We might need to go back for a little bit, but they had their flowers for 50% off. My mom told me, and I was like, we got to go get that. I do order from Tonic directly um, because usually when they have a sale, they have a sale on those papers. And so that's what I've done, and I have such a collection, but I love it. I love it, Deanna. Tool. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. I knew someone would know. Your friend and you may... Oh, that's so neat. So much fun, right? It's a time you'll cherish, Linda. And that's kind of what I'm wanting my mom to come down and help. So, um, and I know my daughter wants grandma to come help too. So, and if we can get um, the groom's mom, if she wants to come and help, that'll be fun. We'll just have a big old party out of it. She even talked about potentially having her bridesmaids, but we'll see. Everybody's busy. Yeah, see, I don't know. Twall, maybe? Okay, possibly. Yeah, an envelope flap, but I I wasn't sure because of the way the die is. So, all right. Let's put this baby together. So, the way they have it on the back, I suppose you could do it either way. You could have it come from the side, or uh, like, 
so that your card goes in this way, or you could have it so that your card goes in this way. And I think I'm going to do it so that the card comes in this way. They do have beautiful specialty papers. Yes, Roberta, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on when they've got their flowers on sale in case we need to replenish our stock. But it's funny because you go down the wedding aisle and none of that's ever on sale. But they have some of the same stuff that's on sale in the floral department. It's just funny. Okay, so I'm going to put that one down. And again, as I always say, I suggest using a very um, strong adhesive for this kind of stuff. What does everyone think of Cassie's Made a Card Live with no prep, nothing colored or cute ahead of, cut ahead of time? Something you would like to watch. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Tool fabric. No, it's, so it's this. But it's spelled T-O-I-L-E. So that's why I was like, is it tool? <laughs> okay. You made all the flowers for your two daughters, all your nephews, nieces, sisters-in-law weddings. That's awesome. And I've made the invitations for not every family member, of course, but I did make them for my sister. That was a wedding gift to them. Um, all right, I'm gonna put this one down now. That was my wedding gift to them. And that won't be a wedding gift to my daughter. It's just trying to save some money. <laughs> okay. Lining that right up there. Same with bubbles. Made all the flowers. Yeah, same with bubbles. If you are going to use them and personalize them, use online labels. Oh, thanks, Roberta. That's awesome. I didn't even think about that. She talked about bubbles because the place they're deciding to do the wedding you know, you can't have any like sparklers or, you know, anything like that. I think bubbles were on the list of okay stuff. So might be doing that. We'll see. Hugs and purrs. Hello, Christine. How are you? All right. We are making it happen. Tool twall. Twall. It's twall. Y'all, I knew you'd square me away because you I mispronounce things all the time. I had a video the other day. It was Maker Forte, and I kept saying Marker Forte. <laughs> I was so embarrassed that I did that. But y'all are very forgiving, and uh, it's always appreciated that you're forgiving and patient with me <laughs> because, you know, sometimes I just, yeah, don't do it right. Okay, put that one on top. That's true. You do not have to clean up bubbles. Very, very true. Twall. Oh, you made your sons. The Yeah. I never thought about possibly blowing the bubbles with COVID. I don't know. That's a good question. All right. So now we're going to fold this over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it. How's that cover? Okay. Because you clearly don't want to close your envelope up. You don't want to end up um, gluing it closed. So let's just do a little bit there. Call that good. Very French. <laughs> uh, okay, so the name of the glue is Barely Art. Yep, that one's linked down below. It's You can find it a few places. I think it's even on Amazon. So Hobby Lobby has their flat. Yes. Okay, every other week. Good to know, Beth. Yes. Birdseed, no, we asked. They won't let us do that either. So I thought about doing like little twirly sticks, but I don't know. Maybe people will hurt each other with it by accident. So, all right. So let's see how that works. Okay, so that one, yes, it fits in there. It's a little tight because I made him, made him nice and thick. Let's see how this one fits in there. Ah, uh, yep, there you go. And so I like that there are the double lines because then if you need to make your envelope a little bit bigger, this envelope ends up being six and a half inches by three, a little over three and a half inches. So yes, I love Barely Arts glue as well. Thank you, Alana. 
You had bubbles at your wedding. Yes, me too, PJB. One of our very best pictures was with bubbles and it was a candid picture that one of my friends had taken and it turned out so good. Blowing, breathing. <laughs> good point, Natalie. Did bells on sticks. Yeah, that's what I've seen and I thought that's not a bad idea, so. All right, so there we have those two. Let's make another card. We can do this with some stamping and doing some coloring. So we've got that, and I do have all the pieces cut. I have my base cut. No, they won't let us do sparklers either. All right, so this one again comes from that first, the big die set. No bubbles because of COVID. Glow lights. Oh, that's a thought too, Roberta. Oh, I really like that. I'll ask her. She may really like that too. That's actually a really good idea. You can put like ribbon on it or something. Make it, jazz it up a bit. Okay, so what I did is I cut out this one and this one. And then this is actually gonna be for my sentiment and it may just come off the edge. So I've got those. We're gonna put this inside of the Misty. We'll do some stamping. So. All right, we grab out our stamp set. I'm gonna close this up because otherwise I'll forget. Yeah. What is up, Handy Scandy? How are you? Nessa from the UK. There, oh yeah, that's true, a bubble making gun. There's definitely, you know, there are definitely ways to get around this, that's for sure. All right, I do wanna point out that I'm using a textured cardstock. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm using a textured cardstock. And let's see, how do we want to do this? So, I'm going to see, because I kind of want to keep it in here, or not keep it in here, but I want to keep my stamp in here, so I'm trying to remember, so it's three in. Might be taking a risk there, though, so I don't know if that's such a good idea. I don't know because I am going to be using colored pencils. So let's see what we can do. This could be a abysmal failure. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, good to see you too. Everybody's got the weekend now. I, you know, hopefully y'all don't have to work a bunch, but um, is everybody off for the weekend? You got fun plans, doing some crafting? Okay. Let's put that down, see if I can get the, because it's textured, I'm afraid I may not get. And the, the um, ink I used was the VersaFine Claire, so I'm taking a risk there too. Yeah, see, it didn't, let's see, I may have to just kind of stamp it again. Yep. Like I said, this could be an abysmal failure. You make sense, PJB, you make sense. Camping, oh, I'm jealous. I want to be camping. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Remember that we're three in, in case I wanna put it back in here. Let's just set this off to the side. Craft Roulette at 6.30 p.m. tonight. What is going on with Craft Roulette? I don't know that I know that one. Hello, the Inking Garden Spot. How are you, lady? Natalie, don't forget. Yeah, thank you, Natalie. Make a baby girl album for a neighbor who just had a baby girl. I love it. All right, we're going to pull out our Prismacolor pencils again. I've been playing with all my mediums lately. Uh, just even used my... What are those called? Real, they're not real brush. Ever, they're not ever blends. <laughs> now I can't remember. But they're the marker, but you can watercolor with them on Bristol Smooth. Can't remember, they're from Arte Arteza. And I'm probably saying that wrong, I've been saying that wrong for years. Um, but we're gonna also do a little blending with our Gamsel. So I've got some Gamsel here, if you're new to that. And we're just gonna have a little fun. We're gonna see how this goes. If it doesn't look perfect, it doesn't have to. Like I said, we're having fun. So our first two colors, planning on crafting, putting vinyl on tumblers and making birthday cards. All right. Amsterdam, Mariska, that's right, lady. You just travel all over the place, don't you? 
It's your birthday party. Oh, Mariska, happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, you have to make a card with the parameters that the roulette wheel lands on. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. Okay, I'll check it out. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, so we're going to start with this. It's like a pale vermilion. I'm going to be honest with you, I picked these colors kind of in the dark in here, like my coloring I did yesterday, but that's fine. So this is going to look weird because it's on textured cardstock, but when I bring in the Gamsol, it's going to uh, really smooth it out. So can you see how crazy that looks? Let's move that stamp. Okay. So I'm basically just going to kind of slap down some color and then we'll bring in our next color because right now it <laughs> doesn't look good. It just goes right over that texture. But I played around with this, just so you know. I'm not coming in totally blind here and just... I like the texture that it does give. I think that's kind of cool. It's different. Oh, have you, Beth? Good for you. Oh, that's fun. Good for you. Okay. So how do you get on craft roulette? How do you do that? Did somebody just call you up and say, hey, come craft with us? That sounds fun. I'll have to watch. I'm curious now. Curious. Okay, I'm gonna say those are just some leaves. <laughs> I will say, with this being so obscured, it's hard to tell what's a leaf and what's a petal. <laughs> so we're just gonna have fun with it. How about that? Okay. So I do have some color down. This time with this texture, I'm putting not a lot of pressure because this will build up on top of each other, but um, I am putting some. And then it kind of does its own pressure to be honest with you, because that texture just kind of rubs it the way that it does. So again, it's just another way to use your your medium, trying something different, you know, because it's it's definitely fun to do it on the the creamier, or I mean, it looks creamier on the uh, smoother card stocks. But I just thought, let's just try this, kind of because this is the the paper that I had out, and I do like using what I have out. Okay, so we're just adding that color. It actually almost looks pretty cool like this. You see that? Okay, before I go in with any Gamsol, I'm gonna keep on doing my coloring. It may not look like, it might look like a hot mess. Good. I'm glad you had a lovely day, Mariska. You deserve it. Yes. And Linda, I'm with you. All right, so I've got a couple of green colors. Again, pick these in the dark, hopefully they go well. True green and parrot green. And I do have them pretty sharp, but uh, that texture is going to rub it down. So that's something to keep in mind. And we're just going to add all that color. Normally I'd be taking a lot more time if this was on that smooth cardstock. I might have to rethink my sentiment on this rougher cardstock. It may not show up very well, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I like that. And I'm basically just adding some shadowing where I think it might look good. We've got our future son-in-law here tonight. I'm going to make some sort of fried chicken. <laughs> I say sort of because it's probably just going to end up being baked. And it's not like bone-in delicious southern fried chicken because, yeah, I have to do gluten-free. All right. Now we'll just bring in our, I kind of like that without the gamsol. So let's see. Yeah, isn't that textured paper cool, Roberta? This is, um, 
I got this one from Tonic as well, and it's just a cream cardstock, but it was a textured cream cardstock. Yeah, well, I'll be honest with you. Social media, I'm not the best at it. I oftentimes forget. I know I'm supposed to be using it. I know this, but I forget about it. Oh, we have a broken lead. That is the one thing about Prismacolors that almost makes me nuts is how easily they break. All right, so that one's broken. Good thing I don't need the yellow anymore. All right, I'll sharpen it later. Okay, so I have a blending stump, and this one is one of those... I, I mean, I guess it's the gray paper. I have them listed down below, but I like these better than those ones. These are really thick, like really compact. All right, use the Gamsol. I will, I will. I think it looks cool, but let's, let's definitely use the Gamsol. So I'm just gonna dip it in there, make sure that I put this out of the way so that I don't spill it everywhere. Yes, I know I can, but it's just not as fun. I'm telling you, Roberta, I miss. I miss gluten. Okay, and then we're just gonna bring that in and look what that does. It, oh, isn't that cool? Okay. And I guess I didn't even check with this pigment ink if this Gamsol would affect it, but it seems to be okay. So that's neat. I like that. And all it's, do it's doing is just kind of breaking down that. I think I need a little bit more. It's like mineral spirits. Yes, it is magic. It's so cool. Yeah. And then it goes right into that linen. Exactly. It does look like linen. I love it. Love that. That's super fun. And I like that there's still some of that texture kind of look in the background. It's just a different look. I don't always have to have all my stuff totally polished, you know what I mean? Sometimes I like that. Oh, I like that. Okay. I kind of am digging that. It doesn't look as cool on camera, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Air fried fried chicken. Yes, Beth. We have an air fryer and I love it. No, I'm not missing it either, Roberta. You're not. Nope. <laughs> I know, right? There's something really cool about it, Pauline. It is like watching embossing powder melt. Yeah, it does. It brightens that color and then just kind of blends it so neatly. Okay, so I'm gonna just use the other tip and then we'll do our green. This one doesn't have an odor. Odorless mineral spirits, yep. I mean, I wouldn't go inhaling it a bunch, but it, uh, it is odorless. And I have some linked down below. go. Let's get a little more. Yeah, this is the Gamblin. I don't know. I haven't tried gameplay, but this is Gamblin. Your daughter has a gluten intolerance. Yeah, it's getting common these days. Definitely getting common. Okay, so I like that. I think that looks good. I'm gonna get some of this off of there so I can do the yellow real quick. It is dainty and vintage, I like that. Okay, do that over the trash can. No sniffing the camsel. Yeah, no, you're right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. 
crispy chicken wings. Mm, that sounds good too. I miss some chicken wings. My husband does chicken wings on our Blackstone and I love it. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. I like that. I think that looks really pretty. Yeah, no, I know, it is, you're right. Um, I don't think I could do it all day long, especially on this textured cardstock. That's probably why it's like that. Ooh, fresh Brussels sprouts. I like that too. We've been using these tiny little potatoes, cutting those up and air frying those. So good. Okay, so now we have our little piece. Let's zoom back out. Okay, and that's going to go on here when the time comes. All right, I'm going to try with our stamp. Let's see which stamp do we want. Ooh, I feel like I should have flipped. Oh, they're both. You know what? I actually cut it out on the non-textured side because there's the texture. I guess, and I didn't do that on purpose, but that's going to work out better for our sentiment. Friends make the world beautiful. Love it. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and I'm not going to, I'll take my stamp out of my Misty. You know what? I'll just use my, I'll use my mini Misty so I don't have to clean the other one just yet. Yes, I have two. This one I use mostly for travel. Well, I shouldn't say mostly because I do use it in videos, but it's nice to have the two different sizes. And mine are the older ones. That's a good question. Hmm. Dainty and vintage. Yes. Brussels sprouts and fabulous don't belong. I used to think that when I was a kid, but I adore them. Big Brussels sprout fan. Not as a kid though. Oof, I'd have rather eaten dirt. It's funny how your taste buds change. Ooh, that turned out good. Okay. Hi, Deb in Denton, how are you? Yes. Greens is true green and light green. Thank you. Thank you very much. Am I missing folks? Oh, Kim. I'm telling you, Beth, you're on it, lady. You're on it. Okay. Okay. Try not to rub my fingers all over that because, as you all probably know, when you use that VersaFine Clair, it can smear. Okay, and then we're just gluing these pieces on top of each other. I like that. I think that's really pretty. And I'm kind of glad that I chose the linen paper or the uh, linen texture. And I think I'm just going to have that come off of there. Ooh, ooh. We'll definitely have to do some sort of um, embellishment. I didn't plan it, but we're going to do it. Okay. Normally that's risky, risky biz. But that's okay today. I like the idea of the craft roulette. Okay, so I actually use this. Pauline, this is what I use. Do you clean the misty door when it has like archival ink? Yeah, this is what I use. This stuff will clean that misty door really well. Is that a medium sized slim line that you are making? You know, maybe that's what it's called, but the, the die says mini slim line. They're called a mini slim line, but I mean, they're bigger than the mini slim line I usually make. Maybe I'm not making the regular mini slim line typically. That could be, you know, that really could be what I'm doing when I make a three by six mini slim line, but it's a paper issue for me, to be honest with you. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in upside down so I can cut that off. All right. I could use this for another piece, so I'll just save that. And then we have our cardstock piece. And I apologize if I am missing any questions. I do apologize. Uh, Sweet Petunia's website on what they use. Void your warranty. Oh, I never would have thought of that. 
probably because I didn't think it would need that. Okay, so this is the six and a quarter, and that's the six and a half. So this is the one. And then I do it at three and a quarter. Map, y'all. Map. Oh, and I did it wrong. I did it on the wrong one. Thankfully, this isn't like a heavy cardstock, so we'll just we'll just go with it. Oh, that's a good idea, Italian salad dressing. Okay, so now let's attach this one down. And then you also have those cream, like it looks like the cream dots showing through. That's pretty. Okay, do we want one of these on the inside? Wishing you an amazing day. Let's stamp that one, because I am always wanting my friends to have an amazing day. Who wouldn't want their friend to have an amazing day? Hmm. Y'all are making me hungry. I like how the last couple weeks we've talked about food. <laughs> uh, I think I might have to make those potatoes tonight. Air fryer potatoes. You've seen three by six to three and a half by six and three quarters. See, I haven't. That's good to know. All right. So let's grab out some Nouveau drops. Let's do, oh, let's not knock things over. Let's do this one. Is that the right color? Yeah, let's do that one. And I'm going to test it out because I haven't used it in a hot... Oh, good thing I did. Okay. So let's do a few dots. Let's put a couple over here. Golly, I'm going dot crazy. Okay. I like it. It is dinner prep hour, you're right. And that's part of the reason why I picked this time of day. Not because it's dinner prep hour, but... Okay, there it is. I can't shove that in the envelope since those are wet. That'll take a minute to dry. But that is that card. So what did we do today? I already had that one made. We've got this one, and then we have this fun envelope. I'm definitely going to have to make a few more envelopes now, aren't I? Thank you all, vintage postcard type. Yeah, that's that's a very good thought, Roberta. Thank you. Well, you know, Alana, it is it is hit or miss for me with the dots, but satin and lace, I like it. I know, Beth, they are. Yep, they're good stuff. Thank you so much, Isamar. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are awesome. All right, well, since it is dinner prep hour, I'm gonna let y'all get to it so that you can go prep your dinners. Um, I'll prep mine, but I love y'all. I'm so grateful you spent some time with me today. Thank you for this. Um, keep an eye out because maybe I'll just put out a poll. You know, maybe there are certain things you guys would like to see, or maybe you just don't care, you just wanna hang out. I love that y'all are talking on here. We have such an amazing community. It warms my heart so much. I know I say that all the time, but you just don't know what you do for me every week. I feel like I am just floating into the weekend when I get a chance to see y'all. So um, big thanks for showing up today. Just, I think we all needed a little happy today and this, that hit the mark for me. So I big time love y'all. Go off and be amazingly creative, whether it be with your dinners or your cards um, or whatever the case may be. But go all go off and be amazingly creative and know, just know how much you are loved. I will see y'all very soon. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye everybody.